Hello Virgo, welcome to a you and them love reading. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to be looking at your energies for each other, what's going on in the connection, and what is the potential outcome. So let's jump right in. As always, this is a general reading, Virgo, so it will not resonate with every Virgo watching, so just keep that in mind. Not every reading that you watch will resonate with you, and that's okay. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo? In love. What messages do you have for Virgo? So I'm going to get some of your energies first, and then we'll jump right in. What is Virgo thinking or feeling at this time when it comes to this connection, Spirit? Blossoming abundance. Okay. Some sort of growth. That's what I thought of immediately. Okay, tell me about Virgo's person. What are their energies this time? Wow, man holding a heart. This person loves you, Virgo, or you are thinking about making this person some sort of an offer of love. So what's going on in this connection? What are the mutual energies for Virgo and this other person? Mutual energies, please. Victory, wow, okay. Recognition, success. And bottom of the deck, woman holding a heart. What is going on? <sighs> this is amazing, okay. So, Clearly there's potential here for growth, for abundance, for success. Um, and I'm picking up that you mirror each other in some way. Uh, either you feel the same exact way about each other, or you wanna say the same thing to each other, make the same type of offer, whatever. All right, let's get some more information. Tell me more for Virgo about these energies. Tell me more about these energies for Virgo, please. What about blossoming abundance? What about blossoming abundance, please? Seven of Pentacles. Yes, this is about growth, investment, effort, time being put into something to watch it grow, investment into something that has potential. Tell me about man holding a heart. The world, wow, totally new cycle here. The ending of a cycle to start a new one. This person it could be coming to see you, Virgo. Because I have you, Virgo, on this side and your person on the other, but feel free to flip them if they resonate more because the energies can be flipped. But this is you, Virgo, and this is your person for me. So I feel like this is someone that could be coming to see you or somebody that wants a whole new cycle with you. Why is victory here? Tell me more about victory. Knight of Pentacles reversed. So I feel like there's delays. Delays in maybe an offer being made. Maybe there are financial delays. Six of Cups reverse, Ten of Pentacles reverse, could be financial. But someone's focused, motivated with victory. So I don't think these delays are forever. And I don't think that they're gonna really slow someone down all that much. So let's get, of course I dropped my crystal all the way on the floor. All right, Virgo, let's get into this. Guides, angels, guides. What messages do you have for Virgo? So like I said earlier, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Virgo watching. Feel free to check out my playlist for Virgo. I have a whole playlist where I've done past readings for you guys. All right, so let's get into this. Tell me about Virgo's energies in this connection spirit. Tell me about how Virgo 
is thinking or feeling in this connection. Wheel of Fortune reverse. So maybe it hasn't been all that easy for you, Virgo. But again, with like the moving forward, not being like stopped. I feel like this is like victory card right here. The higher font. Why is the higher font here? Contracts, commitments. You could have been in a commitment, Virgo, with this person or are in a commitment outside of this person. Perhaps this is the challenge if there's a commitment in the way or expectations. Tell me about Virgo's person. Could be dealing with a Cancer or a Taurus. Ten of Pentacles reversed again. Lack of stability, family problems. Tell me about Virgo's person. Broken commitments. The moon reverse. I keep getting the moon reverse in these readings. Something coming to the surface. Pisces energy. Somebody opening up or an illusion being seen clearly. We are going to clarify all of these, but I'm sending them down. And five of pentacles reversed. So someone wanting to come out of the cold, no longer struggle. Okay. So what's going on in this connection? What are the mutual energies here between Virgo and this other person's spirit? Seven of cups reversed. Options, a choice being made. Hmm. What are the mutual energies of this connection? Ten of Wands. Strength reverse. Someone's. Hmm. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles reverse again. So this is causing delays, some sort of burden or obligation, maybe. Um, a lack of courage. Could be dealing with a Leo here. Does not have to be. I'm just mentioning the signs. Seven of Cups reverse. This is about choices, but it could also mean making the wrong choice if you're not careful, if your intuition isn't strong, or if you're just getting carried away with illusions or fantasies. So let's clarify. Before I... get into what this might be let's ask spirit spirit help me clarify these energies for virgo what do we need to know for virgo i feel like victory blossoming abundance this is like It's almost like um, eventually this where this is going to end up, but maybe it's going to take some some stumbles along the way. Let's see. Tell me about this Seven of Cups reverse for Virgo, please. The lovers, Gemini energy. This is definitely about a choice. Someone has made a choice in partner or a choice where they've had to think more with their head or with their heart here. Tell me more about this Seven of Cups reverse. King of Wands, Reverse Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Why is the King of Wands reverse? Hmm. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles reversed again. Third deck that I use of the Ten of Pentacles is reverse. And I see it. So this is this is a very important aspect of this. And I have the King of Pentacles reverse. One of you could be married 
or both. There's marriage involved here. Some sort of long-term commitment where someone is a provider. I feel like someone's making a choice about a commitment. And I feel like it might be you, Virgo, because I have you on this side here with the higher font. But I also have the Ten of Pentacles on this other person's side. So it could be either of you or both of you. Maybe you're thinking about the fact that this is a commitment that's in the way or they are. Regardless, there's a choice that someone's making. And the King of Wands reverse, I feel like there's going to be pushback on that choice. And it's almost like it's going to be draining fighting this or dealing with this. There's the Ten of Wands here as well. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Virgo, please? The Empress reversed and the Five of Wands reversed. So I feel like this is this is overcoming the conflict with possibly an Empress reverse. Again, Empress reverse someone very upset. Um, I have the Magician at the bottom. So it's almost like someone is still pushing through. I'm just getting that message. Someone is still pushing through manifesting abundance, even though there are difficulties here even though this might take them some time, even if there are people pissed off, even if there's drama, et cetera, et cetera. This Emperor's Reverse could be the fact that they're not able to manifest something right away or an actual person. Tell me about Strength Reverse. And it could be that, you know, this is gonna take a lot of strength and courage for someone, but again, the Magician, and two of one uh not two of one sorry two of pentacles so this is definitely about a choice there's a ten of wands again there's a back and forth juggling a lot going on for someone it is a lot it's a burden high priest is reversed with the moon reverse here something's coming to the surface it's almost also like someone's thinking what's the best way that i can manifest this that I can deal with this burden, that I can get to the finish line. The Ten of Wands is all about getting to the finish line. And I have two, eight, ten here, ten, ten, ten. This is about the world. This is about culmination, completion, the end of a cycle. So let's see. What are we both going through here? Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune reverse. This is like things not working out, time not being on your side. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Three of Cups reverse. Yes, there's definitely something here in the way. And interference is in the way here for you, Virgo. Or perhaps you're thinking about the interference that's affecting your connection here with this person. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Yep, Nine of Pentacles reverse. This is you're not free. Eight of Pentacles reverse. I feel like there's something too where maybe you're going through some sort of difficulty where you've lost some sort of employment or, or have had financial difficulty. But this is what I'm seeing is you're not free of something. It could be that you are not free or single of like a commitment that you're in. Or perhaps this person you're dealing with is still in a commitment and that's affecting the outcome for you or something over here. Why is the chariot here? Cancer energy with the chariot. Why is the chariot here? King of Cups. Yeah, you're in love. You're focused. You could even be visiting this person Loving them from a distance is what I just heard. Five of Cups reverse. This is about regaining something that you've lost in the past here. So you're, I'm, I'm telling you, this is you being focused, determined. You're moving forward. You're moving on towards victory. In your mind, your eye is on the goal or on the prize. Tell me about the Hierophant. Queen of Swords. Hmm. Can I get one more? The 
the moon reversed on your side. So you're both marrying each other. What's this? Three of Pentacles. You're both marrying each other. You have the moon reversed on this side for you. You have the higher font. Your person has the moon reversed as well. Ten of Pentacles reversed. You have the chariot. They have the world. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a mirroring happening here where you're both on like focus on the same thing. With the moon reverse, there's something coming to light. This is like some like maybe conversation has some sort of um, decision or someone cutting something out and it's like it, it's out in the open. A secret comes to light or there's clarity about what an, uh, like a previous illusion or something like that. Um, and this is about some sort of a commitment. So whether this is like someone talking about this or someone figuring something out, it's about a commitment. And I feel like it's going to be like some sort of revelation or, or some sort of like announcement or something like that with the moon reverse. So let's look at your person over here. Oh my gosh, I was going to say, tell me about the Ten of Pentacles reverse and the Ten of Pentacles fell out. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles reverse, please. The sun reverse, nine of cups. So, you know, with the sun reverse and the moon reverse, again, something's not clear, not... Something's... It's almost like there's an, an uh, unhappy um, disappointment, uh, lack of clarity about a commitment situation here. Let me get one more about the ten of pentacles reverse. Nine of cups is all about emotional fulfillment. So this is like, these two like don't go together for me. Another ten, ten of swords reverse and the Six of Swords. This is someone leaving. Leaving a situation. It's almost like they're leaving to get their emotional fulfillment somewhere else. Maybe there's some sort of commitment that is broken or ended here for your person, Virgo. Or perhaps there was an ending between you in the past, but I feel like this is something where someone's not happy and they want to be happy so they're going to go where that happiness lies with the six of swords tell me about the moon reverse three of pentacles reversed tell me about the moon reverse this is this is some very like strong third party energy it does not have to be another partnership but there is some sort of interference here that keeps popping up um King of Pentacles, interesting. So whatever that is for you guys, if this is resonating, by the way, Virgo, let me know down in the comments how it's resonating for you. For some reason, this deck doesn't feel good. That's why I'm not picking cards. Something is off. Oh, okay. Tell me about the moon reverse. Tell me about the moon reverse. Justice, Libra energy, making things right, a final decision. A legal situation as well and the double reverse yeah someone's definitely like breaking free here breaking free of a third party energy and I feel like this is going to come to light or is going to be like a big choice or a big like I don't know it's almost like I'm picturing like a like a freaking announcement on the radio or something like a billboard you know that's what I'm picturing Capricorn energy with the devil reversed. Someone's breaking free and, and making things right, making a final decision with justice. Tell me about the five of pentacles reversed. Coming out of the cold, two of swords. A difficult decision the star reverse Aquarius energy someone could be losing hope in something happening Queen of Wands reverse Queen of Wands reverse Queen of Wands reverse King of Wands reverse someone's dealing with someone difficult um, you know, someone that's not happy, someone that uh, causes fights, arguments, maybe are controlling. 
and it's making someone else like have doubts lose faith um in the fact that they could ever have some sort of recovery or reconciliation with you have some sort of victory there's a lack of faith here someone's losing hope in the idea or a wish that they have and that's part of like the decision making process it's almost like i know i need to make a decision but it's almost like too final for this person that you're dealing with virgo here and so it's causing them to hesitate on making like a clean cut decision Cause this would this would mean that they would break free altogether. And it could be that your person's thinking about you, what you're in. You know, like maybe in their mind you're taking too long making a decision or things aren't working out for you over there, and so they're having doubts in the future of this connection. So let's see, what is the potential outcome? I'm gonna be picking a few cards here. Potential outcome for Virgo and this person. Spirit, angels, guys. What potential outcome do you see for Virgo and this other person in the near future? Temperance reversed. More time needed. More patience needed. Sagittarius energy. Six of. There's a lack of balance here right away. This is something that's off balance not able to come together not able to be evened out here more time is needed for this to come yeah more time 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 <laughs> seven of pentacles and again with this doubting energy like is this really going to happen um are we going to be successful am i going to be able to restore balance i think so queen of wands at the bottom here um sorry about that the garbage men are picking up the trash um definitely i feel like it's not going to slow anyone down you know the timing is off yes there's an issue here with timing and more time is needed more balance or balance still needs to be restored um but i feel like the outcome is very positive there's potential here someone just has to like make a move you know manifest what they need to manifest you know make this happen i mean this is like manifesting a choice or a partnership here where you know all it takes is some work you know and it, it will happen all right virgo um if you'd like to support the channel for free please consider hitting the like button and subscribing thank you to everyone who's already done that don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know how it resonated for you and i'll see you all in another video take care